eso hablamos español. ¿Sí me entiendes? Ese no es el tema de la nueva exposición. They say, uh, they say aliens made the pyramids in Egypt. The gringos made the Russell. Yeah, mucho, I mucho made the Russell. It tells you here that we built in Exodus. This is Exodus chapter 1, verse, uh, I started 7. And the children of Israel were fruitful and increased abundantly and multiplied and waxed exceedingly mighty in the land was filled with them. So we became a, a great nation in Egypt. Okay? Now there arose over Egypt which knew not Joseph. And he said unto his people, Behold, the children of Israel are more and mightier than we. So the Egyptians, they were scared of us. Because we were a big people, we were a, a big nation of people. The Negro Latinos and Native Americans were a big people, man. Yeah. Mighty. Si when we together. Si los morenos, los latinos, y los indios aquí de Norte América nos juntaron. Usted cree que cualquier otra nación nos podía dominar en el When we together, the gringo. Yeah. 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 Por eso nos separa. Problem. Por eso nos separa. Porque yeah. somos, la, somos la misma gente. Yeah. It says, uh, now, now, therefore, rose up a new king over Egypt, which knew not Joseph. And he said unto his people, Behold, the people of Israel are more and mightier than we. They join also unto our enemies and fight against us and go, I mean, and so go them up out of the land. Verse 11. Therefore they did set over them taskmasters and afflicted them with their burdens and they built for Pharaoh treasure cities and Pethom and Ramses. So those, those, what that is is, that's dealing with those pyramids, because we built them up in slavery in Egypt, and it says, uh, but more they afflicted them, the more they multiplied and grew, because when the when the Negro, Latino, and Native American catch hell, catch hell and go through hard times, all they want to do is have sex with their woman to ease the pain. All they want to do is have sex with the woman and ease their pain because sex is a stress believer. So when the Israel lights was catching hell, meaning us, we was having sex with our woman and we had more children, more children, more children, more children. Yeah, that's what was happening. Es lo mismo que nos está pasando aquí. Como está explicando de que cuando nuestra nación este, estamos, estamos, este, o sea, no estamos en buena condición, lo primero que uno quiere hacer es tener relación con su mujer para, para, quitar, para borrarse un poquito de la situación que estamos. Porque si usted, usted se pone a pensar, nosotros estamos abajo de todas las naciones. But the more they afflicted, the more they multiplied and grew. And they were grieved because of the children of Israel. Because the, they were grieved of us because we were multiplying. We were becoming bigger and bigger and bigger. And they couldn't stop it. And the Egyptians made the children of Israel serve with rigor, meaning hardcore bondage, slavery. Verse 14. And they made and they made their lives bitter with hard bondage, okay, with martyr in the brick 
in, in all manner of service in the field, all the service wherein they made them serve was with rigor. So with hardcore bunions. That's how we built the pyramids over there in Egypt. Okay? Not no aliens. The gringo Nancy Rosso. We built the pyramids over there in Egypt in hardcore slavery. And the reason why the pyramids in Mexico are better than the pyramids in uh, Egypt is because uh, in Mexico, this is part the Aztecans. They were not in slavery when they made them. So they was able to make them beautiful, better, than they didn't do it in slavery. But the same people who made the pyramids in Mexico are the same people that made the pyramids in Africa, over there in Egypt. Yeah. Same people. It's the same people. It's the same people. It's the same people. It's the same people. When we were in Egypt, we had slaves. Do you understand? So, we were building the city. We were building the city there. We were building the city there. But we were building the slaves. Do you understand? So it was a little bit more difficult to build the city. So here the Aztecs were not here, they were free. So they could construct the pyramids a little bit better. Because no one was asking them, no one was asking them to build the slaves. Do you understand? So they were a little bit better here than the slaves. say you know you think that the so-called white man can can build you know as, as fast or so, uh, you know what I'm saying and he said not really no no you know and and, and is a car mean he is hired y el, uh, el nombre de nosotros que usted usted dice que es mexicano ¿verdad? nosotros venimos siendo del tribu de de ese car que viene siendo un hijo de, de Jacob y si usted puede adivinar qué significa Él es contratado. Yeah. Y si usted se pone a mirar a nosotros, ¿quiénes son los más contratados? Ese es el nombre de nosotros. De los de, 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 del tribu de nosotros que viene siendo ese car. En la Biblia dice, el, eh, se llama, he is hired, él es contratado. Y si usted mira en, la, en, en, los, en, los, en los lugares, Siempre mira a, a uno de nosotros ahí. Ahí un mixteado ahí anda también. Es, es más fácil que contraten a un mexicano que cualquier otra raza. Bueno, ya está, carnal. Yo ya me voy porque tengo hambre. No, 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 no
that in 2 Peter chapter 1 verse 3. 2 Peter chapter 1 verse 13. It's a lucky about verse 3. 2 Peter chapter 1 verse 13. Yeah, man, that's why we out here, man. You know, I it's a beautiful. See, now that's that's what you call speaking in tongues. Okay? That's what you call speaking in the tongues is, is, is another language. So that's what you call speaking in tongues right there, man. Okay? When you actually look at that, look at uh, uh, tongue, and uh, you know, in the etymology, it takes you to uh, lenguaje. Lenguaje. You know yep. what I'm saying? Lenguaje, which lengua means tongue. Yup. You know? And lenguaje is really Got it in uh, 2 Peter 1 and 13. Okay. You know, you know, Salaka, you know what I'm saying? I was I was too too excited, you know what I'm saying? Because yeah. uh, really nobody's came up with it. So, yeah, it's a way you can communicate right. with them in Spanish, so you wanted to let them have it. I understand, really, bro. And I really did I really couldn't tell if uh you know if he if he if he had been drinking, you know what I'm saying? I yeah. really couldn't tell if he was drunk, you know what I'm saying, just coming, you know what I'm saying? Cause I know I know how you know Jake could be. Man. Yeah, 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 yeah. You know? So uh, this is uh, 2 Peter chapter 1, you said verse 13? Yeah. Verse 13. Yea, I think it, I said, uh, Salaki, I said, yea, I think it meet as long as I am in this tabernacle to stir up, to stir you up by putting you in remembrance. So that's what we were doing. We were in remembrance of who the Heavenly Father son is. And who the father is, and who he is, telling him that he is a father. And the same people that built the pyramids in Egypt are the same people that built the pyramids in Mexico. We was telling him he was an Israelite, man. And the statue of the Bible, the Bible belonged to us, nobody else, man. So that's, and then, and then as he was leaving, saying he was hungry, you know, he was starving, as he was leaving, he said that uh, he, uh, we gave him something through the Spirit to think about. Come. So that's what it was all about, man. Come, come. And, that, and, that, and that's another thing, if I, may, if, if I may say, and that's another thing that you can tell that it's Jake. Because I know sometimes, you know, amongst Jake, you know what I'm saying, sometimes they intend to say, you know, brother. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? All right, brother. Yep. And he said the same thing, but he said it in Spanish, mm -hmm. which he just said carnal. Carnal is, is basically saying brother. Mm -hmm. And uh, Issachar, he always says that. Yeah. So it's not like, it's not something new. It might be new to somebody who's never really been around this right. car. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? For them to be like, oh, yeah, yeah, all right, brother. You know what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah, yeah. I think it's trying to uh, uh, talk down or, 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 you know what I'm saying? Like, where do you get that from? You know or they say primo. Because right. they call primo. me primo. Yeah, because. Because I'm a, I, 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 uh, I've encountered, in my lifetime, I, I encountered a lot of uh, so-called Mexicans, which is a car. And they, and when I get around them, you know what I'm saying, I'm around them, they start calling me uh, uh, Primo, right. quick. Right. Hey, they say, well, uh, what's a Primo? Right. That's what right. they say, man. Right. You know? Come, come. It's just a spirit, man. Come. And, and with Jake, Jake does the same thing, you know what I'm saying? Uh, uh, from the tribe of Judah, you know what I'm saying? Because I'm around a lot of, you know, Judites, you know? And uh, they're always saying, you know, hey, what up, cuz? Yep. Or, or what up, bro? Or what up, brother? Yep. You know what I'm yep. saying? Or what up, fam? Yep. Which, which, when you look up uh, uh, primo, which means cousin in English, mm -hmm. it's like a family member. Yep. You know? Yep. Yep. That's what they do, man. That's what Issachar do, man. Every time I'm around Issachar, if it's a bunch of them, man, and I'm hanging around, I'm a, well, I ain't hanging around, but I'm just saying, just, you know what I'm saying, I end up being around them like that. Kind of, kind of work wise. Work wise, I end up being around, they start calling me primo. Quick. Everybody else, everybody else, they don't do that too. I'm just, I'm just 
just tell me what it is, man. Everybody else, they don't do that for no reason. Nah, they call me Primo. It's, it's in the spirit because it's I've, in never, the spirit. Yeah, I've never, I've never heard, you know, you know, me growing up around my father and you know being around, you know, other Christian rights. You know what I'm saying? I've never heard them call, you know, the so-called, you know, Chinese or, or yeah. other people, you know, Primos and that. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, and then you got you got the mother Jakes, you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Judah, you got Judah, and they'll be and they'll be looking at me like, man, why they calling you Primo? Right, yeah, right, they'll right, be right. looking at me like that, okay, okay. you know. But it is what it is, man. Okay. You know, but that was the spirit. I was started off, man, cause you know I seen them looking from across the street. Right, right. You know right. what I'm saying? I said, yeah, he coming. But see, I thought from a distance. I thought he was a so-called Negro. Yeah. The way he walking and the way he carried himself, yeah. I thought he was, you know what I'm saying? I thought he was a Judah, just looking. Right, right. You know what I'm saying? But a life didn't do that. Right. But as he got closer, I'm talking to find out that he is a cop. Right. Well, you can tell, man. Yeah. That's, 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 that's yeah, that's that swag, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Same people, man. Same people, man. Same people. And, you know? And he was, he was even, uh, he was even darker than my complexion. Yeah. Yeah, man. He was even darker than my complexion, you know what I'm saying? Which, you know what I'm saying, just like uh, we've gone into before, you know what I'm saying, on, on, uh, on which it don't matter, but on, on, you know, on my mother's side, you know what I'm saying, they're, they're a lot more uh, light-skinned, man. Yeah. You know, they fucking, you know what I'm saying, real, real light complexion, you know yeah. what I'm saying? But, uh, yeah, he was he was darker than me. Yeah. Like you said, from a distance, man, you would think, you know what I'm saying, Judah, you know, and, walking the way he was walking. Yeah, and just like I was explaining about the language barrier, it's the language barrier that got us separated, man. It's that language, man. It's that language that got us separated. You know what I'm saying? That's the issue, all right? Because Jake don't speak that language, man. Judah, the, the southern kingdom don't speak that language. You got southern, you got southern, but I'm talking about like a master of Don't speak that language, and that separates us, man. But, but once they find out that we're the same people, and we do the same stuff, they're like, oh, For you stupid people out there to say the northern kingdom is not part of 12 tribes of Israel, you don't have a clue, man. You gone, man. You don't know what you're talking about, man. You know? So we're gonna start off in uh in uh uh second kings, what is that? Second Kings, the uh yeah, eight and one. Okay. Alright, this is uh Second Kings chapter 8, verse 1. Then spake Elisha unto the woman whose son he had restored to life, saying, Arise, and go thou and thine household, and sojourn, wheresoever thou canst sojourn. For Yahweh by Shem Yahushai has called for a famine, and it shall also come upon the land seven years. Yeah, so... It's a, the reason why I wanted that scripture to come out because it's a key word up in there, meaning the heavenly Father, the heavenly Father at that time called the family, but now it's the heavenly Father and the Son, Yahweh Bashim and it's nothing new up under the Son. So the heavenly Father had told uh, Elijah that it was going that he was going to call the family. Okay, now I was in the. Uh, now, I was in the store, uh, in the grocery store, give me a few things, and I'm standing in the meat section, which I was looking for some lamb. I'm standing in the meat section, right? And you had this, I had this uh, Edomite come up on me, which he looked like he ain't missed a meal in one day, okay? But he came up on me and said, he said, hey, man, you seen uh, on the web, man, to where, and on the news, man, to where the, uh, the meat factories are shutting down to the, uh, due to the coronavirus, I was like, yeah, I seen it. And uh, he was like, uh, and, and I told him, I said, yeah, I seen it. And then I said, oh, it's just a matter of time, man. It's just a matter of time because, uh, it's just a matter of time before the food becomes scarce because that's what a famine is, the food becomes scarce, man, okay? And it's gonna be a famine, man. That's what it is, man. That's the King James Bible, man. Even though, even though, it happened at that time, and it's nothing new up under the sun, man. So it's gonna be a famine, man. A great famine 
coming to America, man. Now, you people out there, since, the, since uh, now when you watch the farmers and what they saying, and what they saying about uh, how the restaurants are not uh, open to where they got to dump all their milk and dump and get rid of all their crops because they're rotting out and all that. You know what I'm saying? Uh, uh, and you looking at, and you hearing about that, and you looking at that, and saying, okay, well, well, uh, things are about to open back up. They're going to go through faith, open, open it back up America, okay? They're going to go through faith, which I see that on the news too. They're going to go through faith, open America back up. But that don't mean just because they open America back up, okay? That don't mean that a famine ain't coming. Because it's written in the Bible that a famine is coming, okay? And the reason why I read that particular scripture, because it mentioned famine and it mentioned the Lord had called for it. So the Heavenly Father and His Son gonna call for a famine uh, uh, in America because there's nothing new up under the sun. Just because you can't see it right now don't mean that it ain't coming, okay? We telling you the future of what's gonna take place in the future according to the scriptures from a biblical standpoint. And from a biblical standpoint, we telling you that a famine is coming no matter what you think, okay? Just because they open back up don't mean that a famine ain't coming, man. Okay? A famine of food ain't coming, man. Don't it don't mean that it ain't coming, man. It's coming, man. Okay? So give me Lamentations. Give me Lamentations chapter 4, verse uh, uh, 9. We're going to read all the way down to 11. Lamentations chapter 4, verse 9. You got to keep an eye on this demon right here. It's coming. Yeah, he just circled around. This is uh, Lamentations. Chapter 4, verse 9. They that be slain with the sword are better than they that be slain with hunger. Go ahead. For these pine away, stricken through four one, for of the fruit of the field. So verse 10. The hands of the pitiful woman have sodden, uh, sodden their own children. Destruction of the daughters of the people. Verse 11. Yahweh by some Yahushai has accomplished his fury. He had poured out his spirit's anger and has kindled a fire in Zion. Okay, drop on the top. Watch the thing. deal with the elements, man, which the elements consist of the people, too, because they want the elements, man. They bring the peace, man. Okay? Yeah, yeah, step back, step back. I don't want you close to me. You know? All right, this is, read that again. Okay, this is Lamentations, chapter 4, verse 9. <laughs> you got that. This, uh, that just shows you, man, the spirit and the confusion of these Edomites, man. Here you, here you is coming up to me with a radio up to your ears full of static, man. Like we can't hear that. Nothing but fucking static. Man. Nothing but static, man. And like it's like, like you can hear what it's saying, man. But you got it up to your ears. Then you want to come close to me with that demonic spirit, man. And then you stand over there saying, don't nobody know what the Lord looks like. Yes, we do, man. Okay? You don't because you're in a confused state. You got demons on you. You got spirits on you, man. You're listening to static. You're listening to static, man. Okay? A radio with nothing but static, man. You see that? Then you got another eater, mic that pulled up to the light right here. Burning rubber, man. Okay? But down here, do you think that thing is about to roll him? Hell no, nah, that thing is about to roll him, man. <laughs> Hell no. Nah. They ain't thinking about the rolling down here, man. Hell no. Nah. <laughs> hey, go ahead, bro. And they ain't thinking about no famine, no none of that, man. They ain't thinking about that, man. We out here on the streets, man, down here in Arkansas, man. You know what I'm saying? The land of the zombies, man. They ain't. 
Hey, man, they ain't thinking about no Rona. They ain't thinking about no famine. None of that, man. Nope. You know, you got you got Edomites uh, burning rum in the middle of the street, man. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Craziness, man. Go ahead. Man, this is uh, Lamentations chapter 4, verse 9. They that be slain with the sword are better than, than they that be slain with hunger. Now, when you deal with this, now when you deal with this, this was dealing with what? The besieged of Jerusalem. And it said, they that be slain by the sword are they that be slain by hunger, right? So, in that besiege, okay, if you get killed by the sword, it's better. But to be in that besiege and to die of famine is worse, okay? So, in these neighborhoods where Jake is, that's going to happen again. Jake going to be besieged in them, in them, uh, in them neighborhoods where Jake is at, man. That's gonna happen again, man. And they not gonna be able to get no food. Now, let's see what's gonna take place when they can't get no food. So go ahead, bro. It says, for these pine away, mm -hmm. stricken through for one of the of the fruits of the field. So they, so you know, Jake don't don't know how to garden. They don't got no crop. So they depend on each other, so called white man, to uh. uh provide them food, okay? So Esau gonna cut that off, okay? Esau gonna cut that off when he do. When it's full scale martial law and Jake be deceived in the neighborhood. Go ahead, bro. It's at verse 10. The hands of the pitiful woman have sodden their own children. Now when you deal with that word sodden, matter of fact, if you wanna look it up, it deals with boiling. So what it is is what's going to take place in these neighborhoods where Jake don't got no food at when they get besieged is what? They're going to be eating their children, man. So it's cannibalism going to take place, man. Okay? Cannibalism, gonna, it's going to be a great cannibalism in America, man. It's going to take place, man. Just say the King James Bible, man. It's going to take place. Okay? So the brother going to look up the word sodded in the... Uh, and the, on this blue letter Bible, and let's get the definition for the word sodded there, okay? This is uh, this for the word sodden. Sodden in uh, Lamentations chapter 4, verse 10. Uh, Strong's age, 13, 10. Yeah, a question. Bashel, but it's to boil. See, that's what sada mean. It means to boil. Okay, cook, bake, roast. Okay, so sada mean to what? Boil, cook, bake, roast. So we're gonna read that one more time, and then we're gonna answer this uh, this gentleman's question right here. Okay, this is uh, Lamentations chapter four, verse ten. The hands of the pitiful woman have sought their own children. Yeah, they have bore their own children, man. So that's what's going to take place. Cannibalism coming to America because of the famine, man. Go ahead. They were their meat in the destruction of, of the daughter of the people. See? So it's going to happen again, man. There's nothing new up under the sun. Now you got a question. No, I'm just listening to Shalawan. All right, Shalawan. Who you been listening to? GMS. Oh, you, G, you been listening to GMS? Oh, oh that's what we got. GMS. That's what I said. That's why I stopped. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know about the hard crime lab in the bar? You know? Yeah. That's GMS. Yeah, that's yeah. 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 yeah, we got another brother. We got another brother uh, uh, named Yakal. He be down on the other end. So it's so it's two on camps here. End. Yeah, he be he be down. He come out on Fridays. Yeah. He be down there by the uh, by the Clinton Library. Oh, okay. So it's two of us. Like yeah, that. yeah. So it's two of us here. Okay. Right, you got this camp and you got that one. Okay. I have a number or something. Nah, we we be on the web. You can uh, right. it's a uh, GMS. Uh, you either you either can look at GMS uh, Arkansas. GMS Arkansas. Or okay. Okay. GMS Prophecy and Power. GMS Prophecy and Power is us. Okay. But GMS Prop uh, GMS Arkansas is him. My other brother. Yeah, the other brother. 
Yeah, Yo, you either can type this in. for me again in Lamentations, bro. This is Lamentations, chapter 4, verse 10. The hands of the pitiful woman oh, at Sotkop. This is Lamentations, chapter 4, verse 9. They that be slain with the sword are better than they that be slain with hunger. For, for these pine away, See, that's, stricken that's through for want of the fruits yeah. of the field. Yeah, man. Prophecy, prophecy is power. Is power. Yeah, okay. one word. Okay, DMS, prophecy is power. Right. Okay. Uh, Go ahead, bro. Okay, this is uh, verse 10. The hands of the pitiful woman have sought their own children. They they were their meat in the uh, destruction of the daughter mm -hmm. of my people. Yeah. This is uh, verse 11. You got it. Yahweh, by his son, Yahweh Shai, has accomplished... Oh. Power. His fury, he has poured out his fierce anger and has kindled a fire in Zion and it had devoured the foundation thereof. 